Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Um, and please subscribe so you can see upcoming videos. Today is the day that I said would never happen. So I am going down the rabbit hole. And I'm going to try my hand at the Bloom recipe. Um, so yeah, I'm going to probably do like a Bloom. I'm going to do the Bloom recipe, but I'm probably going to use my um, airbrush for uh, most of it. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. So, here we go. Um, this is my first time doing it, so I am not going to really go over the recipe too much because I'm not sure if it's the correct recipe. Um, if it turns out that it is the correct recipe and by some chance it does work my first time, then I will put the recipe down in the description. If it turns out that it is not the right recipe, <laughs> then you will see me fail and nothing will be in the description. <laughs> but I will tell you that I just have... I'm going to be using um, this is white house paint uh, it's the Walmart brand uh, color place that will be my base coat um, then I have some of the new primary elements uh, the dragonfly wing colors. This one here is mermaid scales. Beautiful. This one is the hydrangea and it's mixed with some arctic opal. So it's got a blue purple shift to it. I thought that was really pretty together. This is the new, uh, the Firefly kit. These bottles I got at Lole Vefe. Um, these I think were six ounce. They're a buck each. And then there's an eight ounce bottle that's $1.50 each. Uh, so, okay. So moving on. Here's uh, Mermaid Scales, Hydrangea, and Arctic Opal. I'm going to be using the Primary Elements Bling It Scarab Beetle. And then I'm going to use the Bling It Interference Blue, the Bling It Interference Violet. Both Primary Elements. One of the new colors, Pixie Dust from the Dragonfly set. And then one of my all-time favorite colors in the world Prussian blue by Grumbacher um, that'll be like my non shimmer uh, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be using this this is a uh, primary element Vavoom red I believe this was from last month's thing you hear my airbrush pumping over there shut that down for right now and I'm not sure if I'm using this either this is purple flash from folk art okay so then for the cell activator I'm using Amsterdam white titanium white mixed with just flow troll 
So, oh, and here's a, I made some and didn't get it. It didn't fit in the bottle. This is called Firefly. It is one of the new colors also from Primary Elements. So let me get my base color paint down, get all set up, and I'll be right back. Okay. All right, so I put a base coat down. Um, and again, this is just the house paint with just a tiny bit of water just to loosen it up. Um, the, oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, the colors are from the Color Art Bling It Extreme Pastel. Um, lights, they are the Dragonfly Wing Set. Alright, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, guys. I didn't think this through. I just basically was like, you know what? I guess I need to do this because everybody's doing it and I like the looks of it. So I guess I'll try it begrudgingly <laughs> but it's the new thing so well it's not really new anymore so I'm coming in late all right so I think should I go across should I do a circle and blow it out I think I'm going to go across and I think I'm going to leave some negative space. So, I am going to, oops, uh-oh. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start out with my, uh, Prussian blue. I think I'm gonna just go across. Man, I love that color. And then I'm gonna use the interference, not that one. The interference. Bling it blue maybe I should have made a thicker line of the Prussian uh, let's see how it goes uh, then I'm going to do the primary elements hydrangea mixed with the arctic opal Uh, purple flash. Uh, not that one. Then we'll do the bling it interference violet on that one. Again, not sure if I'm doing this right, guys. I mean, I've watched a shit ton of videos. But I am going to add some more Prussian blue because Prussian blue. Uh, Um, 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 
nom, nom, nom. Let's do the scarab beetle. And pixie dust. Everybody needs pixie dust in their life, right? Ooh, isn't that pretty? These are all gorgeous colors. I'm so happy I'm back from Michigan to give them all a try. This is the firefly. Um, it's got a really cool color shift to it. Um... We doing did I do mermaid scales no I did not mermaid scale gorgeous do a double dose of that right um Gonna try this a real fine line of this Vavoom. Red and then the bling it violet. And then the bling it blue. <laughs> okay. <coughs> All right. Okay. So the colors are down. Let me pop some bubbles. From what I hear, house paint can burn a lot quicker than like acrylic paint. So you want to get it and quit it. And I think there's something stuck in this paint. All right. Um, I think I'd have put that was the interference violet. Okay, guys, should I put some of the interference gold in it? <laughs> Just a little bit. Wow, that's pretty. That will bring out like the color of that pixie dust. And all right, guys, I think I'm going to use. Oh, what am I going to use? These are just bigger bubbles that the torch didn't get. You don't want to. Oh, I got to put the Amsterdam and Floetrol in it. All right, so this is just Amsterdam white with Floetrol. And from what I hear, you just have a little trace, and then it disappears. Okay, 
Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, probably going to need more than that, Lisa. Now, this is the, what they call, cell activator. I feel like I went a little bit light here. And it's sinking. So, I know Tammy's has sunk before. And she said, it's just fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So, let me cover that up so I don't spill it. All right, so, uh, yeah. Okay, even if this doesn't work as the bloom technique, I think these colors are still gonna be pretty amazing. So what do I do, what do I do? Am I using my airbrush? Yeah, I'm going to use my airbrush. So it might be a tad loud, but I try to, oops, I want to blow everything off the table here. I don't know why I'm scared. I mean, I can scrape it if it doesn't work, right? Okay. So I'm going to blow from the cell activator this way, and then I'm going to turn it and go the other way. Let me take off my glasses in case I have paint blowback. All right, guys. Sometimes my little airbrush goes crazy. Okay, I see you, I see you. Right, let's see what I can do over here. Got splatter. It's very thick. So apparently I'm supposed to let it all come back because there's like little divots right now from where the air went underneath it. Going over the edge here. 
I'll have to get it to go over the edge over there to match. Uh, seems like a lot of white there. I know I should be leaving it at the hell alone. No, it's okay. Seems like it needs more of that. A little bit of air here. I probably need a little bit more of this right here. I know I'm probably messing it up right now. But I lost some cells, so I think something's wrong with my mixture. So I might as well play with it and learn something. Right? Right. Alright, I'm going to go straight down. Because i got to come off the edge here. Ever so gently. Let me let it come back. It's got to come back. So I do know that if you got something and it's going over the edge, that you want to get your edges because if it's dripping, it's going to pull and it's going to keep pulling. That's an, an original acrylic pour also. That's just acrylic pouring 101. So always do your edges, like get your edges. Also in resin, also, also, hang on. I'm very particular about my edges. All right, let me see if I can pop some of these bubbles without lighting stuff on fire.
these up here. They were bubbles, but they have blue in them. I don't like that. I don't like that it's got... They look like bubbles that didn't pop, which is exactly what they are. So I'm just going to drag this out. Oh, that could have been dangerous. I'm going to drag them out with my skewer just so that it doesn't look like bubbles anymore. Well, I mean, so that it's not bubbles anymore. And it's very pretty with the wispiness. This is kind of really... This is kind of really, really purple, or really white right there. Okay. I think that's better. Well, I don't know, guys. I think that, uh, I mean, it may not be bloomy because it's not a bloom, but with the recipe for never doing it before, I think. I think for a bloom recipe would this be considered Dutch pour? It's not really a Dutch pour because I didn't flood my sides with white and pull over so that's not really a Dutch pour. Basically it's back to a hair dryer pull but I didn't use a hair dryer so <laughs> we're gonna call it a blowout. <laughs> Because it's not really Dutch pour if you don't flood both sides. I didn't make the rules. So, I'm just following them. Alright. I'll touch this. I don't know what too much paint is. Uh, all right, let's tilt just a little bit. If I'm starting to lose it, then I'm going to stop. But if it opens it up a little bit, trying to do it here so you can see it because I want to go that way first. I did tape my sides. Okay, I don't, hang on. I don't really like what it's doing. So, I did get rid of some paint. Guess we'll see how it dries, because... back this way. I did put GAC 800 in it, so in the um, white base paint. I know you're not supposed to, but I don't usually follow rules. I just thought with it being a thicker paint, it would be a good idea to ensure I don't get 
you know, a shit ton of crazing. So again, just doing my little sides, a little swipey swipe. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I'm going to leave it be. I think it looks okay. I shouldn't have. I don't like this right here. Damn it, Lisa. All right, it's just going to do it on that side. All right. Hang on. I'm going to try to fix it. Let me move my boobs. I didn't like the pulling that was happening. And now I don't like the big white spot that's happening. I hear you guys. I'm just not listening. If I don't like it, there's no reason, you know, to stop. I gotta like it, right? Kind of matches over here because it's kind of white here, here, blue here, here. Right? So stupid. I just put white through there. Okay. Okay, I like that better. Blue, blue, a little bit of white, wispy. So when you're dragging a skewer through and it's got white paint, you want to wipe your skewer off because otherwise you end up Uh, mucking up your painting, which if I keep the skewer in my hand, I'm going to end up doing anyway. But I just want to make sure that those little dots are gone. All right, let me look at it from the side. Got a piece of dust in there. Get it from the side. I'll give it a little torch and then I'll bring you in on a close up. I'm glad it didn't go 
Opa! Uh, hello, Koja. Thanks for making your appearance, buddy. These are bubbles that I am popping that the torch didn't get that I don't want to. If you don't get them now, then as your paint dries, you're going to get pock marks and they'll be super aggravating to you. All right. Hang on. I'll bring in a close Let me get you out of your little case. Look at my mess, guys. Ugh. Okay. How many lights do I have on? Okay, there's my... Let me turn these ones off, I think. All right. Hang on. All right. I see a bubble. See right there, guys? They'll just end up coming back as little chicken box, chicken box, <laughs> chicken box, <laughs> pop marks. I'm loving these dragonfly wing colors. I'm loving that Prussian throughout, but I mean, who doesn't? The interference. Those are pretty. Very pretty. Can you see the sparkle? When it dries, I'll be able to show you a little bit more. But this is like all interference blue right there, see? And it looks so gorgeous with the Prussian blue. And then you can see that Vavoom red, the dark, the dark right there. And the interference violet. The violet and the blue together there. I am totally going to drop this phone in here. Oh man, wouldn't that suck? You know, I'm surprised I haven't done it yet. Alright, let me see if you can get... Better view. I love the negative space. I love the wispiness. Um, I lost my cells, you know, for the, or the lacing for the bloom tech, the bloom recipe. But overall, I really do love this painting. So I don't mind that they're not there. They were there, but they're not. So there's going to be something wrong with my paints. I'm thinking maybe one of my paints was too thin. So all right guys so that is it for my first attempt. Um, but I love this painting. I love how it turned out. It was so much fun. Of course, I'll try it again. You know, try, try, try. Like I said, Alice has already dug the hole. You might as well go down the rabbit hole, right? All right, guys, I will see you soon. 
on a later video. I'll show you this once I have it resined and stuff. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Leave your comments below. Please subscribe. And uh, let me know what you think. And come join us on our Facebook page, um, our Facebook group. It is called United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. I run that with Tammy Anderson. And we'd love to see you over there. Lots of great ideas. Lots of great artists. And no drama. No drama. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks. Okay, guys. I just put my first coat of resin on this. And then I added a couple little 3D butterflies that I had made with this mold here. Um, so this is basically the finished piece. Um, the resin's wet. I'll just, I'll be putting another coat of resin on it. You know, a second coat. Uh, whoops, it's not focusing. But this was, uh, this is what it looks like so far. I don't know. Let me try to shut this light off. Hang on. Might be able to see it better. It's so bright in here. Okay, yeah, I love how this turned out. I think it is super pretty. It's got all of the the little butterflies were made with the color art tint viola, I believe. These are let me get to the side. This was the airbrush one I did. Well, you know which one it is because this is at the end of the video. I'm going to attach it to. <laughs> so, but I don't know. See, so you can see all the interference colors. See how beautiful they are? So gorgeous. Once you get resin <clears throat> on these pieces that you put interference on, I mean, they're out of this world gorgeousness. Look at that. So pretty. And I love that it goes to the matte, uh, where there's no sparkle on the white. Oh my god, is that a huge hair in my resin? Please tell me it's not. Hang on, let me look. 